Um, I would have to say no. I think he's the real deal. He was the real deal. Um, he did everything great in the UFC throughout his whole career. He was what twenty eight, twenty nine and zero. He knocked out people. He submitted people. He grappled anybody. He took anybody down whenever he wanted to when he fought them. Now I would say he would probably agree. He would have liked to have had that Tony Ferguson fight because at some point in time, I believe. Habib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson were the two best lightweights in the world at some point in time. Not right now, obviously, but I think those were the two very best. I think if he would have beat Tony Ferguson, you know, he would have probably solidified himself even more during that time. Um, Because he did beat McGregor, he did beat Gaethje. But obviously, Tony Ferguson has had his struggles and he hasn't been fighting as well lately. Maybe it's a game plan thing. Maybe it's retirement. Maybe whatever it is. Maybe things are not going good in his personal life. I love Tony Ferguson, so I'm not going to bad mouth him. Love watching him fight. But no, I think he's a very legit mixed martial artist. He clearly was the best lightweight in the world. He's clearly one of the greatest, if not the greatest lightweights of all time. Um, not many people were better than Habib at their primes like he was. I think guys like BJ Penn. You know, maybe can argue that when he was in his prime. But no, nah, Khabib was a beast. He did what he wanted to. Nobody, not too many people have beaten Conor McGregor like he has. Even guys like Poirier and Nate Diaz that did beat McGregor, they went through a lot of crap and they had a hard time doing it. Khabib had an easy time doing it. So that tells you how good Khabib really was. But no, nah, he's the real deal, man. Everybody says he's overrated or not very good. They're crazy.